Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, I got to remember every time I do this that I need to make sure that I turn on or I change everything in the little, hey, you're about to go live thing in Streamlabs, but I forget to do that. So it says Tuesday cast, but it's actually the Wednesday cast. Um, glad everybody's able to join us here today. Uh, well, we have some viewers. I do appreciate them viewing. Uh, we are working on uh, try hack me stuff. I actually am expecting, I'm expecting my uh, my mentee to join us. He said he was on his way back from Chicago, so I don't know what that means, uh, if it's traffic related issues or what. But uh, we'll 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 definitely press on. So uh, for for those of you who enjoy going to conferences, uh, besides Seattle is a pretty pretty damn decent conference uh they have unfortunately because the last couple of years been unable to do that uh because of the pandemic uh this is i believe the first year that they're coming back as a conference in person uh they did something last year i think in a like a if it was a modified format it was they they had a virtual component as well i don't know if they're going to have a virtual component this year i actually have reached out uh, to the organizers, hint, hint, and ask them if they would be willing to allow me to stream it here on on our Twitch. Uh, I've not heard anything back yet. I probably need to reach out again. They're probably busy doing things. Uh, don't want to presume that they are ignoring me. Uh, and, you know, they could just say, hey, you know, stop emailing us. But I actually know them. They're actually good people. So, um but yeah, if you are interested in getting a ticket, the tickets are still available. Um, I do believe they just put out a tweet saying that they are looking for co uh, speakers. Again, like uh, 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 number two, uh, round two of speakers. So if you have not spoken in a while or, or ever, um, they are you know they are looking for speakers to come and speak at the conference. Uh, you can you know fill out your. Uh, instructions here so it looks like oof, man that's a small font um, so they have different uh, yeah so looks like it's open until the 24th of March so you have another eight days to submit um, conference dates are the it says the 14th but I think they said it was the 14th and 15th so uh, maybe they only have spots open for the 14th which is Saturday uh, the 14th um, they're trying to talk about these are the focuses for the year, the ideas they're looking for, responsible disclosure, research methodologies, partnerships between academia, industry, and government, mentoring, and community growing. Yeah, God, I, I do, uh, I, I've given those kinds of talks before. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Nobody wants to hear me talk. Uh, at least not in, not in, not in the real world. Hello. Oh, first time chatter. Hello. Uh, X Nop X 90. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for, for following uh, along uh, with us here. Uh, yeah. Uh, B side Seattle is really good. They're at, uh, they're on the Redmond campus at a small software company up there. Um, in building 92, which is really nice, the visitor center. So, uh, hello. And so, yeah, they have a, a number of things they're looking for. So, um, you know, and, and they're definitely looking for, uh, I don't know if you work at a three letter agency, but, um, if you are definitely interested in, um, uh, getting involved, you can do that. And they have a lot of villages too. As a matter of fact, um, Miss Berlin, I don't know if she's going to be on tomorrow or this weekend with us. Um, uh, she has asked me to come and help volunteer at the mental health village. So they are going to have a mental health village there. Uh, it's, it's going, I don't know what it's going to be about at B side Seattle. I think, uh, the, the organizers reached out, but I'm not exactly sure what the content is there. Uh, at previous ones that I've been to with the mental health village, they've had a speaker track talking about, you know, people's experiences, dealing with mental health, how to pick a good therapist, you know, what works for you in terms of coping mechanisms, etc. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything like that this year uh, or this time at B-Side Seattle, but um, uh, I, I, I'm going to talk with Miss Berlin and see what that's all about. It could be I'm just helping to maintain the room and make sure that everybody is uh, staying safe and has a nice place and, you know, can chat and stuff. So um, there may be opportunities for me to do some live streaming at the conference, too, and interview some uh, speakers. So, um, but yeah, um, 
a lot of, a lot of good a lot of good information here so uh, they do looks like they will give uh, speaking stipends if you're interested in doing so uh, hundred dollars for the 60 minute do I have the Twitter link uh, for what mr. Uh, Nopex 90 for for beside Seattle I want to say they're just twitter.com and they're at besides Seattle oh oh I can yeah I can put the Google Doc link in and stuff if you want that if that's what you're you're looking for let me sorry yes um, there you go there's the there's the link to the conference uh, you can also get tickets there they still have tickets available I believe as well um, they were looking for a new logo I don't know do they have the new logo no it doesn't look like they have they've unveiled the new logo yet if they've have have one uh, they did say tickets will not be available at the door um, and so they have a they have a ton of stuff. So children under 18 must be uh, accompanied by legal guardian. Tickets purchased after March 1st may not receive correctly sized T-shirt. Did I put it? Okay, yeah, I already bought a ticket. I think so. Oh, and they do have a code of conduct for those of you who are who are asking. Um, they have had a code of conduct since I want to say since 2018. So this is not the first year they had it. Um, proof of vaccination will be required. Um, Masks will be required inside the conference area. Now, I don't know if that's still going to be the same because here in King County, which is Seattle and, and surrounding areas, um, inside mask requirements have been eased. And this is going to be in May, so it may be eased even further or completely forgotten. But just in case, you might want to check with the organizers. They may update this before the, the conference uh, to, to suggest you know no masks are needed. Um, but just in case you might want to find out ahead of time, uh, they may come out with some additional instructions or emails if you, if you want. Oh, and here's the code of conduct. Um, let's open that up here. <clears throat> so I have the code of conduct, which I think is important. Um, I, I, I've, we've had one on the Slack channel for about five years and it was the first thing that I thought we needed for the discord as well. Uh, if you are interested in joining the Discord, just let me know, and I'll uh, put an invite in the uh, in the chat window. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, big Kahuna, besides Josh Josh Michaels, yep, yep. So uh, there you go. Um, I was kind of hoping it, um, AJ or AJ would uh, connect. Let me uh, let me double check and make sure he's not trying to chat me up on Slack because. Um, I can't have both of them open at the same time. So, okay, looks like we're still good. Okay, well, if he joins, I'll I'll modify the overlay uh, accordingly. And uh, otherwise, I think uh, we could go ahead and get started. Uh, let me see. Yeah, stipends. Oh, oh um, close that. Control W. Control W. Um, Here's the, uh, I'll just paste this into the chat for tickets as well. If people just, you know, don't want to submit, but they uh, have tickets. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. So uh, the last thing we had for this one for the uh, file inclusion stuff was the challenge. Uh, you know, the, let me see who all's on. Is it, okay. If Queensa joins us, then uh, hopefully, hopefully she'll be able to continue on with us. Uh, so great, do great job uh, now applying the techniques you've learned to capture the flags familiarizing yourself with HTTP web basics could help you complete these challenges. I don't know what it is, man. And then I start reading, I get tired. Maybe it's the lack of oxygen to my brain or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe I'm just not breathing enough or too much. I don't know. Uh, make sure the attached VM is up and running, then visit. Okay, so attached VM. Where's the attached VM? I just need to double check. Uh, let's see, deploy the VM. Is that the one? Yeah, probably. Start machine. <clears throat> how many um, has... Okay, so for, for the people who are following along in our, in our chat, uh, how many... Uh, how many people are have gone to conferences? Which conferences have gone to? Uh, any any good ones that you've been to? I know Recon is coming up as well, which is um, it's it's all about reverse engineering and you know uh, fairly technical type uh, discussions up in uh, Canada. I believe Montreal in I want to say a couple months, probably around May or June timeframe as well. 
it may actually be happening the same weekend. Well, you know what? Let's go find out while we're waiting for the VM to start up here. So it's recon.cx. Recon, oh, okay, uh, recon is 3-5 June, and then training is going to be from 30 May to June 2nd. So it's in the Hilton Doubletree, Montreal. Uh, if any of you technical folks or people who want to learn all about ELFs and bins and binaries and lol bins, and, you know, they have a ton of excellent training on there. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you what kinds of stuff they have. Uh, oh, wait, actually, I can. Looks like they have the CFPs and trainings here. Oh, my God. It's, it's like three-point font. Jesus. There we go. Um, looks like they have Modern Binary Exploitation by Jeremy Blackthorne, Program Analysis Training by Sophia Antoine and Jordan Vines. Uh, ooh, uh, Windows Internals for Reverse Engineer. Wow, Alex Ionescu. Wow, okay, and, and Yarden Shafir. That's, that's huge. That is huge. Uh, Advanced Fuzzing and Crash Analysis by Richard Johnson. Uh, hunting and Reversing UEFI Firmware Implants by Alex Matrasov. Uh, practical Web Browser Fuzzing by Patrick Venzuelo, Ventuzuelo. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. Oh, Gidra, Reversing with Gidra by Kayla Fanador. Yeah, some of these things I wouldn't even... It, it, this, so... To, to show you how much I would love to take these, but would be completely lost, uh, when I took um, Python for OS hacking at uh, DerbyCon to get a ticket to go to DerbyCon at the last DerbyCon, um, no, no, next to last DerbyCon, I was com I I felt like I had wasted a space that somebody else could have taken, and uh, ended up. Uh, feeling like I, I probably should find somebody else who should take this class because I, I have all the material still from that class uh, that Fuzzy, I don't think it was Fuzzy Knop. I forget it. I forget who, who gave the training, but it was excellent training um, because I was completely lost after the first day because um, it was far beyond what I was doing. So um, <clears throat> yeah, kind of sucks. Um, but it, that, it was at that point I realized I won't be taking any more training at security conferences because uh, the training is mostly beyond my my ken in terms of skills so um yeah <clears throat> so it says here conference talks are encouraged but not limited to software and hardware and protocol reverse engineering's finding vulns and exploits so yeah i mean this is these are these are serious serious people right tearing apart code at the most basic levels um you won't find try hack me there let's i'm just saying so um <clears throat> so yeah they have uh, speaker benefits as well and uh, you can if you you know if you want to try to submit for their cfp and you you know have a good talk there's the uh, the cfp link um but yeah you can go check that out and uh, all right so vm should be up by now i would hope seriously i better not be starting the machine so Let's see what does it say 10 10 39 Where's the, seriously, god damn. I'm dying inside when it does that because I, I, I obviously did not, I, I started I started the app, but I did not start the machine. So I've got I've to remember to do that. It's painful. Um, oh, uh, so uh, a couple days ago, I believe I posted, there was some news online about uh, some malware that was being dropped, maybe it was yesterday, uh, where Cobalt Strike was being hidden inside of fake Windows updates. Um, apparently, there has been, uh, I don't know if this is anything having to do with it, but there was some discussion today where, let me see, where was it? Uh, window, legitimate updates to Windows or to Office updates were being, um, let me see... There we go. Microsoft Defender tags Wind Office updates as ransomware activity, and they were. Um, I, I wondered if this was kind of fallout because some overzealous people created um, detection mechanisms for the patches uh, that are not Windows Defender, but instead, you know, um, Cobalt Strike, and then 
you know, some de defender endpoints were, were coming off as false, false positives. Uh, a couple of people on our Discord actually said uh, they had a couple of boxes in their company light up having ransomware and, and or um, malware, and it was actually just um, something like this. So um, they say, starting on the morning of March 16th, customers experienced a series of false positive detections attributed to ransomware behavior in the rans uh, behavior detection system. So they may have seen erroneous uh, office svcmgr.exes. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, according to Microsoft, the issue may have potentially affected admins who attempted to view ransomware alerts in the Defender for Endpoint. Yep. Uh, yeah, November Endpoint also blocked Office Docs from opening in some executables due to another false positive tagging files for emote tet malware payloads. It's going to be interesting because uh, if, if you... I, I don't know what's worse, actually having malware on the system and, or well, actually, probably actually having malware on the system is worse, but if you can make legitimate rule sets light off with, you know, if they're making legitimate rule sets and they're causing issues like this, or, you know, you can make a malware payload that looks legit, but it actually isn't light off, you know, it's it's that arms race, right? It's like, you know, figuring out what will get you past the rule sets that people make or, um, you know, what's going to trigger it or what's not. So, uh, but yeah, um, let me see. All right, let's go back. Let's go back and look. Okay, we're up and running. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to text AJ real quick and say, hey, WTFs. Let me see. Will stuck in traffic, quote unquote. Stuck in traffic. Doink. Okay, there we go. Um, if he's stuck in traffic, then we'll you know we're gonna we're gonna continue on anyway. So all right, so okay, version the challenge. We're gonna do the challenge. All right, so uh, 10, 10, 139, 175. Okay. Make sure my frames per second isn't janky. Ooh, okay, 30 frames per second. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. 10... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, 1010, 139, 175. Nope. There we go. Challenges. Index.php. Seriously, come on, man! Don't don't screw with me here. Come on. Oh, I put a comma in there. God damn it! Okay, try one more time. Ten dot ten dot one thirty nine dot one seventy five. Challenge. I did it again. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. All right, index.php. I'm going to get there eventually. Hope y'all will stick with me here. Okay, file inclusion lab. So here are the challenges that are available in the file include room. Challenge number one. All right, this input form is broken. You need to send post request with file parameter. Okay, so the file name is going to be, we'll just call it welcome.php. Okay, so, all right, what do we know about the uh, the URL up here? So it's challenges, it's chal1 or chal1, so challenge1.php, and then the argument file is welcome.php. And what we need to do is figure out how to get Etsy flag1. Okay, and we need to send a post request with the file parameter. 
Hmm. Okay. So, what happens if I did it again, except with bob.php? Huh, interesting. Okay. You need to send a post request with the file parameter. Well, what? Let's see if I can see anything in the view page source. No, not page info. You know, I only got 16 gigs of memory here, and my, my mouse is, like, dragging. So, okay. View source. Okay. So it's using welcome.php. All right, example PHP. All right. Uh, div class, yeah, yeah, yeah. Submit, include, all right. Okay. Shut that off. Got to save all of my RAMs. So, okay. Input form is broken. You need to send a post request with the file parameter. All right. So, what did we learn about? This is, let's see, LFI. Uh, let me see. Okay. Get lang. Yes. All right, so what we, we, we learned with the get command, so we're, we're trying to get language. In this case, we want to post with the file parameter. Seems to me that the post is what is already occurring. I wonder, you know what, let's... PHP number symbol, interesting, okay. Um... File equals, you know what, let's just go ahead and start with the tried and true and see what we get when we do uh, what we get when we do the tried and true, what's the file we're looking for here, flag one, all right, Etsy. Okay, that was not what I wanted. Etsy flag one. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Change the form method to post in the page source or use a tool like burp to modify the method of the post request. Shit, okay. All right, well, great. I will have to shrink up my browser window to accommodate burp and configure everything. Okay. All right, where's burp suite? Okay, burp suite. That is not burp sweet. Burp sweet. Okay. Oh, this is trash. This is going to suck because it's going to take a while. Okay, temporary project, start burp, because it won't matter, because once you blow this away, it's going to start it up again with, you know, the necessary bits. Um, okay, great, yeah, let's, let's patch burp while we're at it, I mean, hell. All right. At some point, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and use like OpenVPN or something. It seems like this is a completely unworkable solution without uh, having having everything where it needs to be. So, all right. So, all right. OK, 
Okay, leave. We don't want temporary directory, whatever. Temporary project next. Start burp. And of course, it's full screen, so we got to shrink it down a little bit so I can actually see the other site. So let's see, we'll go here, open menu, uh, let's see, preferences. This is going to be one of those labs. It looks like I might, probably should have done this one, uh, you know, outside of this and then made it work. So that way I don't look like an idiot when I'm trying to set up burp. Okay. So... All right, where is seriously? All right, proxy. One second, I'm gonna go into my power settings and see if I've got like minimal battery or something. Balanced, now let's go best performance. Things might get a little noisy, but I need the extra juice, so. All right, proxy settings, there we go. Uh, let's see, manual proxy settings, local host. If it hasn't changed between the, the first and last time that I've ever done Burp Suite. Local host. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's double check and make sure that we've got everything. All right. Okay. All right, what was the what was the command again? Change the form method to post in the page source or use a tool like burp to modify the method of the post request. Seriously, is it is it that easy? I don't even need to use burp in this case. It's the page source. <coughs> Okay, so we're we're building on what we've learned before. So we're gonna have to go in, do the F12 thing. Uh, let's see here, so web developer, debugger. Okay, then we go to network requests. We're gonna reload the page. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Queenza. Appreciate the uh, appreciate that. You, you haven't missed much if you just showed up because um, the biggest thing I've been doing is just trying to get Burp to work. So, um, yeah. All right, so we're going to includes. Let me see. All right, so we have Chal the welcome here. All right. Okay, so it's. Were you able to, to get through this one, uh, Queenza? Let's see, where's the post on this? It should be, or it should be a get, right? Yeah, a get, not a, not a post. It says refer. Huh, interesting. Okay. Let me see, where is the... File, no refer when downgrade. Oh, request. There it is. Nope. Cookies. Response. Timings. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's a get. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hello. Oh my goodness, we have a, oh my, this is like our first raid ever. Oh my goodness, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to, uh, welcome to everybody. I don't know who's raiding us. Uh, OX Jelly, okay, thank you. Try hack me is not very secure. Um, potentially, potentially. That's awesome, thank you everybody. Appreciate the, uh, the raid, that's awesome. Uh, you can watch me flounder around with, uh, with, with, uh, you know, the, the, the bits here, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why either. You know, I'm, uh, it depend. well, I mean, some of the, some of the boxes are fairly, uh, I would say, unpatched. So, like, this PHP version is probably about, uh, three major versions old. So, um, you know, uh, if, if they don't watch what they're doing, um, no, that's okay, Queen. Um, yeah. If they don't watch what they're doing, they could actually use these, uh, you know, yeah, they have really, I mean, yeah, like the, the, the versions as we've gone through these challenges, the versions are like 5.3. something and they're on like 5.8 or like 8.1. Sorry, PHP's latest version is 8.1. Um, yeah, we don't use the VP, I don't use the VPN, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, as you can tell, that's why it's kind of slow. Uh, not just my frames per second, but everything else. But I do appreciate the raid. Thank you, everybody. Um, We've just been on here doing a lot of uh, try hack me stuff, you know, just trying to get my hours in here for the first couple streams. Um, if anybody has any thoughts or uh, ways that we can, you know, make this work. Um, oh, right. Okay. So let me change the method over here. I don't know, Jelly. Um, I, I would hope they do, but, uh, you know, uh, somebody had somebody had mentioned we should. Oh, that's not what I wanted not what i wanted they uh they have they had mentioned they wanted to do hack the box for different reasons maybe it's because that's what they were already working on but um my mentee who uh, will be here hopefully uh had uh uh it is it is it because is it because they uh um aren't changed oh yeah there we go edit uh is it because they do not um to isolate the free ones or the premium ones from from what i understand the premium version that you pay for actually gets uh better uh potential <clears throat> all right so i think i got it right we're going to modify the post method uh queen if you um, have any questions let me know i just had to edit i went in i edited this uh um request changed the method i was having a little trouble remembering how to change the method. So this was a get, I changed it to post. And uh, the file is, we're looking for is Etsy flag one. So uh, let's see, let's go, actually let's not do that. So let's go dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash. I'm gonna put in a handful cause like we talked about yesterday, I'm not sure you know, it doesn't tell you exactly. It's probably var www.html, but you can put in as many of those dot dot forward slashes as you want to to get the files that you need. So, uh, and once it gets up to the top level, it will disregard any additional dot dot slashes. So I'm going to put another one in there just for s and giggles here, and then flag one. Right. Okay. And then we will send. Okay. And then. So that went, that's a 200 post. And uh, let me see, open. Oh my God, I should have rebooted when I came in. Nope, that's not what I wanted. God bless it. Okay, request. Oh, okay, no problem, Queen. Uh, response, oh, there's, there's a response. Okay, so. Um, Input form is broken. You need to send a post request with file parameter, file name, response payload. Let me see here. Challenge one. Okay, so I did not, I did not do that correctly because it did not give me what I needed. We gotta look at the preview on that. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I changed it to a post. Hmm. Well, well welcome, uh, welcome to everybody who's here. Appreciate everybody who showed up. Uh, I am currently working through this in the web browsers only, so I'm running a VM in a web browser. Uh, I'm not using the VPN connection. I thought I had made the changes correctly in this uh, challenge uh, link, but if anybody else has any comments or questions or, hey, you know, I've seen this before, because the hint, and I've already put, I've already popped up the hint, it said you got to change the form request to post in the source page source or use a tool like Burp to modify the method of the request post. Um, ideally, I'd love to be able to do it without having to set up all the, the Burp suite stuff because this VM is already slow enough as it is. Did I type it wrong? Am I, am I, maybe I just, oh, you know what? I wonder, I wonder, let me go in, edit. No, file, okay, so let me see. Child file equals, ah, okay. Sorry about that. I'll see what I can do without, you know, making it, uh, yeah, I have performance mode on, so I can't exactly see what's going on with that. Yeah, okay. Hope that's better. Um, thanks thanks for the, uh, the heads up on that. Okay. Um, all right. So the file is this request. Uh, I think I may, I'm going to have to, let me shrink it down a little bit just to see why I'm not getting... Okay, I don't know why I did that. But... Okay, oh, wait, let me, there we go. All right, so post requests usually have data in the body. Yeah, I, I was looking at the response on the uh, on the response payload, but there's, there's nothing in there that I could see other than it asking for the, this is just a bunch of spreadsheet stuff. It says your form's broken. It's not giving me the THM flag bit. So, it's, you know, the, re the response is just nothing. So I don't know if it's what what the deal is there. So, uh, headers. I mean, it was 200 okay. It came out all right. Uh, challenges, chal one. Request payload. Yeah, I, I, I looked in there too. I didn't see anything. Request payload. Oh, wait, one second. I see what your point. Yeah, it says no parameters for this request, but I thought it'd be in the preview, but it wasn't there either. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm missing the request payload. Oh, I, do I need to put something in the uh, in the file name and then submit it again? Why slow mode? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, I, wa I was having some bot trouble. Apparently I had about 50 or 60 bots in here and they hadn't replied yet. I think they were probably setting up the uh, setting us up the bomb, if you will. Uh, so uh, somebody had mentioned, I think it was Cyber Gladius had mentioned that there's a list of bots out there, but I don't think I turned the slow mode off. So that's my bad. I probably need to fix that as well. So iterative process, my bad. I will I will fix that hopefully tonight, but um, you know. <sighs> All right, so let me see. Modify that. Yeah, just enable follower only if you start getting spammed. Honestly, it's not much of a problem on Infosec Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it is a problem if you're T-Pain. That, that is a, a true statement. Let me uh, turn off. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me uh, turn. There we go. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust y'all on this, right? So um, it's, it's now slow mode has been disabled. So, um, all right. So I have the refer. It shows that the method is a post request. Am I the only one it's freezing up for? Gods, I hope not. My frames is 30 frames per second. So, and I have a, a, a stable uh, bit rate. So, um, 
the fact that it's my mouse is like dragging it takes like a couple seconds every time to move i don't know maybe there's something going on with it, it's easy to say there's something going on with with you know try hack me I, you know um but i i haven't seen it this slow in a long time so all right let me let me go ahead and try bob.php Okay. Kill your tab and get a new one. Oh, okay. All right, so we're starting over again. So it's bob.php. I'm going to edit. All right, so we have the method here. The get is post now. We're gonna change file equals to dot dot slash 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 Etsy flag one. Now that should work. I see enter a valid input to see how the web server behaves. Enter invalid inputs, including special characters and common names. I wonder. I wonder if this is a percent zero zero issue. Request body. Uh, so query string is for a get request. So move that query string out of the URL. You need to move it to the body section below. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll give that a shot. Uh, there it is. I don't think that did anything, did it? I don't think that did anything. Okay, what in the hell is going on with this mouse? All right. Thank you, uh, Angie, Ange 31D, or Angie 1D. There you go. Nope, I don't think that did anything for me. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, X, uh, OX Jelly. I, I, that's that's my question. Did it even look like it sent? It says the request payload was flag, which looks like it's formatted correctly. Um, the hints aren't much of a hint, to be honest, and yeah, so see the preview here. Yeah, the only thing looks like it just reloaded it again. I'm not sure why it's all grayed out, but that's that's what happens, so. Mm-hmm. All right. That's going to do nothing. <clears throat> All right, so yep. Mm. yep. The one thing I would suggest about Netcat, maybe using NCAT instead of Netcat, because uh, um, you know there might be the, the what I've always heard is in Netcat it doesn't necessarily use encryption, so. Um, Try removing it from the URL and moving it into the post body and Bob's your uncle, but something weird is happening there. Yeah, I, 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 if I could move the screen over a little bit. I mean, seriously, my mouse is just not able to grab. Okay. I'm trying to use my trackball, which normally works really well. Okay, I can't even, like, de-separate the screen, so I've got this big old screen here. Probably something here. Okay. I hope that didn't screw anything up on the screen. Let me see what happened here. Okay, good. All right, well, I, I can see what's going on. Okay. All right, so at least I got a little more real estate now. I can, I 
can at least futz around with this. I know I need to find Etsy flag one, flag two, and flag three. So we'll just um, figure out how to get back to where I was before. Um, all right, so this is, oh, this is Chal two. I need to go back to Chal one. All right, let's go back to challenge one. All right, Chal one, there it is. Uh, Chal one PHP. All right, so I need to edit and send. All right, and make this a little bigger now that I've got a little more real estate to play with. I'm gonna have to use my trackpad because the mouse is just not, I think some of it's me. I probably should have rebooted my box before I did this. All right. Okay, so we change this to post. All right, and then, oh wait, I was supposed to do a bob.com thing here, so file.php, all right. Now I better change it to something else just in case. I don't wanna be any collisions there, so I'll just call it bob.php. Okay, so we have bob.php, right click, edit and res. Okay. Edit, resend. All right, so wonder what happens if you change cookie from guest to admin. Some to some to think about. Yeah, I think we're we're yeah, we're in the file includes area right now with that, so. <clears throat> all right. So, all right. So, file bob.php we're looking for we're looking for you said we need to take this and put this down here. So it would be percent file equals dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash. Well, I'm uh, so slow uh, GoPro slow yo. Uh, I am I'm just trying to make my hours in here. So uh, you know I'm trying to get all my milestones and everything. Oh yeah, m uh, right. Okay. So yeah, I can't guarantee I'm gonna be doing this all, all night every time, but uh, all right, so I think we've got enough there. So Etsy flag one. All right, and this should work. So we'll, we'll see what happens. There's no error message. 200 post came back. <laughs> hey, P hey, Scott. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but it it did not work because I do not have anything coming back from it. So I must have done something wrong. Because you know that's that's how I am. So I, I I did it wrong. So can you right click the request, copy as curl? Okay. Copy. Copy. Copy Earl. Okay. And try in a terminal. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Okay. There it is. All right. Oh, that's a hot mess. Okay.
So uh, is that it? I don't think that's it. Huh. It definitely looks, um, what do they call that? It definitely looks ta flaggy. Um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks, it looks very much very flaggy. So we'll see. Uh, good, okay. No, motherfucker. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this gets real painful real quick when you're, you know, you got people expecting things, so. I mean, we've already lost people, so, you know, everybody was obviously not happy being here, so. There we go, all right. Holy sh... <laughs> that worked, okay. Uh, well, well done there, Go Pro, pro Slow Yo. Um, if, you know... Yeah, streaming is stressful. So, you know, it's, it, it's funny how we... Uh, we go to conferences and people are like, oh, I'm going to do demos here live and the demo gods and everything. And it's like, that's, I'm, you know, that's me every damn day, pretty much. So, um, all right. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that, that was, that was one. So who, yeah, I, I did not, uh, Angie, I did not sacrifice any chickens to the, to demo gods today. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm overdue for, uh, for the uncomfortable stream so it is it is what it is so um all right let's let's scroll up here and get to challenge number dose uh let's see oh i did make some emotes uh for for those of you who are interested i also made some uh bit emotes uh or bit icons and stuff i can't use them because apparently i can't cheer on my own channel <laughs> they're like you're not supposed to cheer your own channel i was like okay great so um Angie, you're correct though. It's like only admins can access this page. Hmm. Uh, now I have to go in and look at look at the uh, changing the cookie type. Which, seriously, come on, man. Come on, man. All right, let's. Oh, good. Control W does work in full screen. Okay, so. Uh, let me see. Only cookies change. This one should be easy enough. Let me um, go in, edit, resend. Okay, we're gonna get, and cookie is admin. Oh. Okay. Then we should be able to resend. It's going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to open it and copy into curl as well. Uh, let me see. God bless. Okay. Copy is curl. Sure. Why not? It worked, worked the other one. So let's see what we can do there. Okay. Make sure that the cur the cookie was okay. Cookie is set for admin. Okay. Mm, okay, alert, alert, success, failed to open stream, var ww chal2. <clears throat> Seems like that there's another bit here that uh, is missing. Okay, so... Okay, that didn't work. Resend. Can I just refresh the page or is it going to bring it all the way back? Yeah. Okay. Welcome guest. Chal2. Edit. All right. So we need to go back in. Edit. Cookie. And send. I need to go look at the request header. That's what it is. Or the response header. See what we come up with. Current path, var www. Welcome admin. Okay. Failed includes PHP. What's the payload say? 
Oh yeah, see we're using an old version of Bootstrap and J jQuery and stuff here too. All right, so includes PHP admin. Okay, so they're they're adding a. <clears throat> yeah, should Angie's saying you should be able to reuse the old curl command and just add the dash b, thm admin. Looks like I'm going to have to add the LFI where I'm adding includes to the to the URL as well. So instead of includes admin dot php, I'd have to go includes forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash seems like that's the the most likely uh let me see yeah yep okay so edit all right so cookie still admin uh, request body from the get parameter it's going to be actually I can probably just put it right up here percent file because it's a get it's a it's a get so file slash include no 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 equals includes slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash Etsy flag no oh my god I got like meatball fingers or something here <clears throat> that should work as long as cookie still set to admin which gives me the ability to log in as admin and then the includes was part of the directory error that I got and then up 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 and then back down okay well, we'll see I picked the right directory right include includes slash admin PHP welcome admin yeah response payload nope that is not the case. Nope. Hmm. I'm double check and make sure. Okay, looks like nobody's uh, signed up here. Hello, Mustafa. How you doing? Thank you for for joining. Appreciate your. Uh, uh, patronage thank you for following appreciate that as well um we're here doing try hack me well i'm here doing try hack me uh talking to myself uh because you know the show must go on so uh well it's going uh you know um you know all these all these people watching and seeing what's going on here and uh, I'm i'm flailing a little bit i think i'm gonna go back and see what the what the hint says here for this. I, I, I think this is a two-parter where you actually have to set the cookie as admin and then make the request. Yeah, I know. I said check your cookies. Um, boy, this is like the worst game of Trivial Pursuit ever or something. I, I don't know. You know, or it's like, you know, Monopoly. Oh, man. This is like the hacker version of Monopoly, isn't it? It makes you a stark raving lunatic before you even, you know, finish the damn game. May I ask, kind of related to security? Sure, go ahead. I mean, um, you know, let me step away from doing this for a second, and we can ask, we can answer your question. I mean, we've got a ton of people in here doing other infosec streams. They're very kind and have decided to, you know, take pity on this poor bastard. And so, what's up? I'll just keep futzing around in here. I'll I'll figure something out. I would have thought it would have been as easy as checking your cookies, but it does not appear to be the case. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just refresh and start fresh here. What are you guys thinking about test automation engineering? Are there any demands from companies in this field? Test automation engineering. Um, you mean like automating test cases or user cases or something like that? Oh, <laughs> 
Dude. Oh, GoPro. Uh, man. Uh, holy cow. That's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Um, that, that was completely, uh, unnecessary, but I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, Yeah, I mean, yeah, like like GoPro said. I mean, I I work with folks uh, in QA and Dev. I mean, uh, once you make them, I mean, you're either tweaking them to fit certain use cases, or um, you know, writing test harnesses for fuzzing is something you could definitely do. And actually, uh, I know pen testers that often have to write their own fuzzing harnesses for for things because test and QA teams don't have those, and sometimes. Those companies ask for those f testing fuzzing harnesses back because they assume that, well, since you wrote it on their dime, they, they want that. So, um, yeah, I, I have seen that where where the customer wants the fuzzing harness because, one, you've saved them, you know, hundreds of hours potentially of devs having to write that stuff themselves. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, depends on the organization, yeah. I mean, fuzzing and testing harnesses, yeah, there's, there's definite there's definite need for automating some of this stuff. Um, uh, it's definitely not glamorous. It's like uh, devs asking devs to write documentation. They don't like writing that either. So um, that's just my opinion. Uh, it is not necessarily the opinion of everybody in this room. So all right. Okay, so cookie is autumn autumn admin. Okay. And once I change it, I'll, I'll, I'll do what, uh, I'll, man, uh, go, go pro slow. Yo. Thank you so much for the, uh, the, the, the tier three sub that is our three other uh, tier one subs for everybody. Appreciate that. Um, that, that's awesome. Including uh, queen queen got a sub. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Selenium is excellent. Um, um, I've been, I was using Selenium for a long time and it, it helps not just with uh, website stuff, but automating, uh, yeah, no worries, Mustafa. I appreciate that. Um, um, yeah, you know, that's what we're here for. You know, we'll have people in chat who'll be able to answer these questions too. Uh, I don't have all the answers, and I don't uh, always assume to have the correct answers. There are answers, but um, it just depends on everybody's different experiences. So um, I know I work with a lot of devs who do different things uh, regarding, you know, test harnesses. I've also worked with consultants who do security testing that have to write harnesses, and they don't like doing it, but it's just a, it's just, it's just a necessary evil. So let me, uh, okay. And then we can copy as you see URL. Boink. All right. Now let's try the, let's try the, uh, um, okay. Now I just to make sure we don't have any, yeah. Okay. Great. Just to make sure we don't have any weird, character bits in our thing. I'll just clear that real quick and put that in there. All right. So, uh, let me see. Challenges, THM admin, uh, insecure upgrade request one, whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> okay. All right. So that, that did not, that did not glean anything of note other than the fact that I'm apparently now an admin. Uh, and I've already tried using the includes directory and that didn't work out. So fail to open stream, no such file or directory in bar WWF chal2.php on line 37. Okay. Are you uh, so Mustafa? Are you looking to get into that field? Uh, are you doing that now uh, and looking for a position? What? What? Uh, I mean, what? What? Uh, you said you're just using, you know, it's Selenium, but are you trying to actually turn that into a career? Or is that something you're, you know, looking at? Okay, that did not work. Okay, we are an admin. Chal two. I don't want to have to open this into a. <clears throat> All right, I did that. 
resend, and then I need to going to have to read that file somehow. So file equals includes slash dot dot slash dot dot. Hello, NeoXQuick. Welcome. Cool. Good job. Uh, good job, XOP90. Awesome. Glad you applied for the CFP. Hacking Adventures with Cubes OS. Oh, that's cool. I, I, I think I saw your stream earlier uh, on, on Twitch. I saw that it was, um, you, you were doing some more stuff with that. Uh, Mustafa says, that's why I asked, is I'm enjoying using Selenium, but test automation is, yeah, is beyond Selenium, right? Yeah. Um, I have experience with all aspects of that. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, I think, yeah, I, I don't see a lot of usually test engineer type positions. Um, I'm, I'm assuming uh, it would be more like a like QA positions or something like that. Uh, a lot of our QA folks are, are over in Eastern Europe, of course, um, and some of them are actually in Ukraine, sadly, um, and they're um, we're, we're giving them as much leeway as we can to, with, uh, with everything going on. Um, pretty much we're having to make do with other folks in other countries. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we've got a ton of QA people doing QA experience. Um, for, uh, so feel free for anybody to correct me if I'm wrong here, but QA and test automation, uh, I, I believe in QA you use test automation. Uh, right, right. Um. You know, and, and with uh, test automation, especially testing code or inputs to code, uh, you would have to have a test harness or, you know, some kind of automation to be able to test that out. Um, and, of course, also, also a lot of dev houses already have that automation in place. You're just, you know, making sure the test cases make sense when you're running them because you want to make sure that you're actually going to find those types of scenarios in, in an environment. Um, from security folks, it's like uh, you you will write the test cases based on the user stories sometimes. Uh, like, you know, user should be able to register doing X, and then you've got to walk through that workflow to make sure that it's correct. What happens if this user decides to put a special character in this field or, you know, uh, what have you? Um, yes, the workflow worked, but because they put an ampersand or, you know, their their, their name is O'Malley with a, you know, a little tick mark, it, it forks the system. So... You know, the, in that way, you know, security testing or security QA is, is that way as well. Um, send. Here goes something. I really wish the page up here would refresh along with the page down here. Oh, wait. Just click. Just click. All right, go to response, current path, preview of admin, welcome admin, include, fail to open stream password, response payload. Okay, that didn't work. What the hell? Cookies are admin, yeah. Hmm. All right, so warning include includes slash admin dot php function dot include fail to open stream no file or directory in rwww <coughs> Mm-hmm. And of course we it does say that I am admin, so that's cool. We're in var www.html so I should have all I can't imagine that you need more than more than two or three of those. Function include uh warning admin.php. Hmm. It's interesting. I wonder what admin.php will give you. I hope it's not wanting me to call admin.php. That's going to make me really unhappy.
200 worked. Let's see here. No, that didn't work. That was trash. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that didn't work. <clears throat> uh, alert success, alert, welcome admin. The, the Google dorker in me wants to go and look online at a work a walkthrough and see what I'm doing wrong instead of just having people flail watching me try to type shite in. So let me see here. All right. So um, RFI walkthrough. Okay, I won't ruin it for everyone else in case somebody's actually, you know, trying to, to go through this. Yeah, yeah. Lesson eight. Scroll, scrolly, scroll. Okay. I wonder if this is part of the... Uh... Let's see here. Yes. Flag one, two, three. Okay. Cookies are going. Flag one, flag two, oh, there it is, okay. So, seriously, that's it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm reading through this uh, for flag two. Flag one, we got it, it was kind of janky, but um, they are actually showing it. It did differently than, than what I was expecting. Of course, they're using Burp for their their connection as well. I should have probably used Burp Suite on this and done it right instead of being all janky. Percent zero zero was how they got their cookie, uh, or got that got that flag for that cookie. Um, okay. All right, so yeah, I, I I I tried something in the first flag that didn't work that I I stopped doing in the second flag and didn't didn't continue to do. So um, we are going to go in and edit and resend. So it isn't file includes PHP admin. It's how did they how did they format that? So. Change the THM value to that. Uh, okay. All right. So what they did, and I'm just going to go ahead and re reinstall or re refresh the page here. I can't guarantee that our streams won't end up with me going like, oh, I've you know I've I've spun for 25 minutes on this, so uh, you know I'm going to go and find somebody else who's done it better. So we go admin, and then hit send. And it sets the cookie as admin, and then we go back in and edit and resend. And what they said to do, or what what the walkthrough said to do, was change THM, which that should have been that should have been like the thing. Um, so change the value to dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash dot dot. Oops. Forward slash dot dot forward slash. Etsy flag two percent zero zero and then hit send. They're saying that that is that is how you do it. And then check the response. Yep, and you see right down there it says cookie is yummy. So that's that's that one and that's probably down here in this grayed out spot okay now why why did it do that like that that is that is an interesting question so you changed you changed the user to from admin welcome admin to welcome dot 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 
and put a percent zero zero so it would basically open or get the con the contents of flag two and not process anything else past that point which is why we're getting the cookie is yummy value right there okay so i've got that um okay um, well, that was a, that was a bit of a cheat, but like I said, I can't guarantee that I'm not ever going to do that again, especially if we get hung up on something, me and my mentee. Um, no, that is not correct. Okay, so. All right, and then. Motherfucker. Okay. Thirteen. Cookie is yummy. Yep, yep, that was correct. So that makes sense. Uh, all right, Mustafa, have a good one. Thank you. Uh, GoPro Slow Yo, thank you so much for your uh, subscriptions. Uh, appreciate that. Appreciate everybody who's hooking up here. Um, Neo X Quick, thank you for following. Um, I'll make sure if next time y'all are on to, to send a raid over y'all's way. That way you can do that. Uh, and you know, I'm 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 I don't know if I want to start on that flag because flag two took me so damn long. Maybe I should maybe I should you know step back for a second. Um, I can work on this offline and then you know maybe not you know in. And, and be able to explain that. So that'd be, that'd be something we can probably do that way. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let me, uh, let me exit out of this just for now. Um, uh, so one of the last things I wanted to do before we, we got done and I thought we would have less time. So, um, that's cool. Uh, we are going to be doing some additional events soon. Uh, for those of you who were following along last night, uh, we are, we're going to have Miss Berlin on talking about some log analysis stuff because, uh, Queen was asking about that. Uh, I do believe it's either going to be tomorrow night or it's going to be Sunday during our regular, uh, audio podcast, uh, stream, uh, which is Sunday evenings. Um, if we can get her and Mr. Betcher on, then that'll be all the better. Um, I'm also going to be talking to better safety net mcdouglas who we've had on the podcast more than once um he's he's got a lot to talk about on twitter um a lot of people are talking about obviously what's going on in ukraine and and, and russia and some of the defensive tools and how people are defending their networks and he is super blue team which is arguably i think in these day and age the harder of the two jobs uh, red team versus blue team or or what have you because um so he, he's uh, got a lot of uh, cool things he can show us with PowerShell. Uh, he teaches a lot of classes on PowerShell and teaches all over the world. And I'd love to get him in here just to you know go through some PowerShell stuff, some defense stuff. Uh, last time we had him on, we were still doing the audio podcast, so things like demos are not easy, enough, easy to do. Uh, so I thought we might get him on to maybe maybe do an extended demo of, of some PowerShell stuff to show people how to defend their environments uh, from, you know, red teaming and people who, you know, are doing, you know, nefarious stuff. Um, and so, yeah, he is twitter.com better safety net. Mick Douglas. Good dude. I've uh, known him for a few years now. I can't remember the first time I met him. I think it might have been DerbyCon, but I had been following him for a while now. But um, he's, you know, got all kinds of things on here. He just retweeted this thing called Telescope for scanning digital ocean spaces, similar to S3 buckets. Um, yeah, see, he was he's talking about automated pen testing tools. And he said automated tools are not a pen test. 100%. I agree with that. Uh, I, I think it's I like him is because you know, we, we've grown up in, in defense together and, you know, he's talking about automated pen testing tools. Uh, Mustafa, of course, uh, ha thank you for coming, but Mustafa asked the question about test automation. 
it's great to have automation. It gets rid of a lot of tasks that are repeatable constantly. As a matter of fact, our, our podcast, our second part of our podcast on, you know, automating processes or automating anything uh, is, is going to be coming out. We talked to Shannon Noonan and uh, Stacy Cameron uh, about that. And um, yeah, I mean, there's sometimes where you, you know, if you're doing something multiple times a day or, you know, multiple times a week, it's good to automate those processes uh, to save time, effort, money in this case. Um, but, you know, you you should not depend on them as the end all be all. And, um, you know, automated tools like especially vulnerability management tools or vulnerability scanners are a prime example of they get some things right, but a lot of things can be very, very wrong. Uh, it's, it's, they, it's kind of, you know, they run very, very hot or very cold depending on how much, and, and, and it's it's really in the customization, right? I mean, you may have a bunch of scans on your network uh, that are good. You may actually have to tweak scans. You may actually, you know, you may roll your, you may roll your own. You may use like Nmap or something and then create custom scripts that look for services or things on that site. But um, I'm reminded of a story I did when I was doing vulnerability management where I was running a scanner against a web app. The web app noticed a port 80 service running on the system and the scanner was like erroring out on this. I mean, where the point where it was like taking 15 hours to scan, you know, because this system was hanging the system and it, all it was doing was sending out a heartbeat. Um, the end scan would show, oh, there's major issues on this IP address on port 80. And um, when we would scan that after we would, we would find that the heartbeat uh, would fail and cause the services that were looking for that heartbeat to fail as well. Um, the infrastructure reliability folks were like, well, you need to fix the scanner so it's not doing that anymore. Uh, and, you know, in, in that case, they were true. And I had to go in and modify the scripts to, to, to one, you know, just, you know, not scan that IP address, but uh, running those things just without any kind of, uh, without any kind of leash or any kind of restraint can, can often cause more problems on the network than they solve. So in many cases, automated testing is good. Automated scanning tools, not always good. So, um, but yeah, I, I want to get him on. Uh, he, he's actually done some PowerShell classes for us as well. Um, and he's a SANS instructor. So, you know, he's had a few years of, of, of testing things. So, uh, and you know, he, he knows a little bit about incident response and incident handling. So, uh, yeah. Um, let me see, where am I at? Okay. Uh, all right. So, um, thank you everyone for coming on. Uh, I think I'm going to talk to AJ and see if we can actually get him down to a regular schedule. Uh, I know that he has jumped ahead quite a bit on some of the, uh, some of the lessons. So I want to make sure that we're, uh, doing what's necessary to make sure that he is, um, you know, we're, we're getting caught up with him and that he's, you know, uh, in a, in a format and an environment that works for him. Uh, I am, uh, currently, uh, going to be working through uh, flag three because I'd like to learn flag three without having to, uh, in my in my opinion, cheat to figure that one out. So um, uh, I am going to probably go and let everybody have dinner, but uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow night and Friday and hopefully for a longer session on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm still working through my month here. Uh, I do appreciate everybody for, for coming out today. And if I had a raid to go and raid people with, I would do so. Let me go see if we have any raids that are going on for people that I follow. Twitch.tv. Okay. Let me see. Well, Chill Hop Music is on. Nope, oh, nope. Nobody's on right now. So, um... If anybody was doing so, you know, or if you know of anybody who we should follow and, and, and start rating on, then, uh, you know, let me know. Otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, everyone, for coming. And, uh, yeah, thanks to GoPro Slow Yo again for, for the, the subs. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. Take care of yourselves because, uh, as we say, you're the only you you have. And uh, have, a, have a good rest of your day.